Hello guys, welcome to Tech Cuisine. In the last lecture, we saw about Nodeman and Express. If you missed the last course, please I have given the link in the description. Please go to the last course and uh, see the uh, last lecture. If you like the course, please like, share and subscribe. Today we are going to see about MongoDB. So we are going to see Mongo, how to connect the MongoDB and how to work on it. So let's begin. To use MongoDB, we have to host the MongoDB somewhere. So there are many websites available for the MongoDB. One of the best is MongoDB Atlas. So go to MongoDB Atlas. Go here. Okay, now you can see the pricing there. Here you can see shared from dollar zero. It's a uh, five GB storage with the five hundred twelve. Uh, 512 to 5 GB storage and uh, we have the shared RAM end to end encryption and uh, we have the dedicated one starts from uh, some $57 and there is $95 and if you want the MongoDB to work it locally you can install in our system see here uh, you can uh, contact the sales uh, now we are going to work on the cloud so I am going to try for the free account so here we have to give some informations. My company is Tech Ozain. How are you using mommy? I'm learning I'm I am learning MongoDB. I'm building a new app. Okay. So info at techzain.com. So tech Uzain and the password is my password okay okay i'm right i agree get started free so we have created a account on mongodb and now we will see what will happen next Alright, so now we get the next page. Uh, here we have to provide the project name, and our project is Tech Design Beginner or Give Tech Design Note, Note JS. So here we have to select the project preferred language. So I am going to select the JavaScript as uh, ours is Node.js. Continue, or you can either skip it. Okay. So it's loading now. Clusters is nothing but of a collection of data sets distributed across many servers to achieve scalability and better performance for read and write operations create a cluster for free uh, now we are going for the free you can have the you can see the features of the clusters now we are going for the free one okay create a shared cluster now as a free one we have to use the only the shared now uh, i'm going to select the amazon web services Okay, uh, it's uh, Virginia is okay for me. So we have to go to the click the create button. Okay, now the cluster is creating. Okay, all right. So everything is done, and it says we are deploying your changes. Here we need to wait until the cluster is created. Okay, before that we can 
I am going to explain you what are these uh, things uh, database access, uh, network access. Database access is that uh, it's uh, it's nothing but of uh, user. So we can create an user and assign it to this database. So you can use the you can call the database using this user function. Okay. So go to the database access. Okay. Add a new database user. Using the I'm going to create the user uh, using the password. User is techusain and the password is uh, I'm just going to give my password okay so we don't write uh, to any data access uh, and add user so I don't think we don't need to do anything furthermore okay and uh, next go to the network access network access is that you need to add an ip to access this uh, database but uh, i'm going to give access to all the ips because uh, i you know like for the project being i'm giving the access all access from anywhere here you can give the access from the one ip or you can allow access from anywhere so that's it so you did two things and uh, spending status and go to the clusters now sorry all right the cluster has been created now we have to create the database and the tables so to do that go to collections here you can uh, for the testing you can uh, load a sample data set and uh, add my own data now i'm going to use add my own data here we have to give in the database name i am going to give tech design db and the collection name is take like uh, our uh, project is like e-commerce so I am using the product then click create so the database is created with the table product here the table is mentioned as collections so if we go to the database the collection name as product okay now we have created the database and a table or collection uh, a product now we need to connect the mongodb with the our product our project sorry our project so to do that we have to install a package called Mong mongoose so what is mongoose mongoose is nothing but of a package which connects the mongodb with the uh, with the node.js so i'm going to show you how to do that let's see okay so we, to do that we have to uh, install it using the npm package npm install mongoose okay now it's installing all right it's installed now we have to import the mongoose on uh, on our uh, project so to do that go here create a const name mongoose equal to require mongoose so, all right we have imported the mongoose now we have to create the connection to to create a connection we need to get a connection string to do that go to the mongodb atlas here you can see connect under clusters click the connect 
here you can see three uh, we are going to connect your application here you can see node.js and there are other things available for php python everything or c sharp .net everything so now we have selected the node.js and you can see the connection string here the connection string as you see uh, here we have to insert the user and the password and here the database name so i get the i copied the connection string go back to the code here i make mongoose dot connect of the connection string so we have to change the password here i gave the password tech design and the database is tech design db the password is tech design 123 all right so to make it work properly we have to use the two parameters so after the colon use comma and they open the para parenthesis here use new url parser true comma use unified topology true does it so we have to use uh, two parameters here to make the mongodb is working well and now we have to check the, the connection is working properly so to do that go here and uh, go here and first dot then of uh, we have to create a function here so if it is uh, connect connecting we will display the message console.log of db is connected or else dot catch of we have to catch the error so we have the, to create the function here so console dot log of error so what it do is this is nothing but of the try catch in the in some of the languages like c sharp we can use the try catch in the node.js we can use then catch so now we are going to run the application npm start running on port 300 okay sorry 3000 and db is connected which means our database is connected sorry okay okay all right now we have successfully created the connection